Silvia de Villar was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico in 1928. She was an actress, a dancer, and an Afro-Puerto Rican activist who embraced her heritage with great conviction. Her mission was to include that history, to highlight that history, to focus it, not as an oddity, not as exotica, but as an integral part of what it is to be Puerto Rican. She used poetry and dance, and it wasn't really what we know as bomba. She used those Afro-Puerto Rican rhythms to do her performances. After having met her and being part of her group, I realized that she was the most important representative of the Afro-Boricua reality. During a time when most chose to embrace their Eurocentric background and cast aside their deep African roots, Silvia de Villar identified with it and sought it out. In Puerto Rico, racism existed just as it exists in the, in the mainland United States. Because we have to understand that Puerto Rico is still a colony of the United States. Sylvia's dance choreography was focused on African traditions, tracing them from the continent to the Caribbean and specifically to Puerto Rico. So many of the people in Puerto Rico when she was performing said that's not Puerto Rican. Her intent was to provide a lesson of the journey of Africans and African descendants. Sylvia moved to New York City and was inspired by the black political movement. The black movement here in the late 60s and 70s was something that she took to Puerto Rico. She dressed in African garb, her jewelry and everything related to Africa as well as Puerto Rico. She was, if you will, our Angela Davis. She very much identified with black movements and activism uh, across the world, and she took it to Puerto Rico. Sylvia studied sociology and anthropology at Fisk University in Tennessee. Her trip was cut short due to racism in the South. She returned to her homeland where she earned her degree. The experience that she had in, while she was studying uh, in Tennessee made a, a big impact on her life. It made her analyze the value in black culture. In 1968, she went on to find El Coqui Theater in Puerto Rico. She was recognized as the most important authority of black Puerto Rican culture. Previously, there was no black studies in Puerto Rico. You have to look at Silvia del Villal as being a pioneer in that area. And she walked with that reality, she talked about that reality, and she performed that reality. 